You'd be a gentleman tonight, okay? He always is, Mr. Jones. She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick. All the boys still What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the hottest moments throughout the show. Riverdale is based on the Archie comics, but we can tell you they have made the show a lot more sexual than its comic counterpart. With its young and good-looking cast, we receive a lot of hot on-screen moments. With that said, let's get into the video. First up, we have Veronica's and Archie's first kiss. After Veronica moved to Riverdale, she's briefly introduced to Betty Cooper and her friends. The person Veronica liked the most was, without a doubt, Betty. Even though they hadn't known each other for that long, Veronica knew that Archie was off limits because Betty had a huge crush on him at the time. The gang all went to Cheryl Blossom's party one night, and Cheryl, as usual, wanted to stir the pot and started a game of seven minutes in heaven. Archie is the first one to spin the bottle, and as you might have guessed, it landed on Veronica. At first, Veronica refused because she didn't want to hurt Betty, but eventually she gave in, maybe being a bit curious about Archie. They went into Cheryl's closet, and they definitely had an intense first kiss, to say the least. We definitely shouldn't do this. From then on, we believe that they never really forgot that moment, because as we all know, they ended up together. And it doesn't seem like they'll break up anytime soon. Next up, we jump to one of the hottest Varchi scenes throughout the show without a doubt. After Archie's dad was shot by the Black Hood, he was a bit freaked out, and he didn't really know what to do with his feelings. Veronica tried to be there for him, but he angrily yelled at her to go and leave him alone. You really want me to go? I do, yeah. I'm sorry, no. What? I'm sorry, but I'm not going. Veronica did the opposite and stayed because she understood that Archie needed someone to take care of him during this tough time and that he would only feel worse if he was left alone. After helping his bleeding dad to the hospital, Archie was drained in blood, and the first thing he did when he got home was to jump into the shower. Veronica wasn't just going to sit around, however, so she decided to jump into the shower with him and comfort him. I would definitely set this scene as the hottest Varchi scene throughout all of Riverdale. But what do you think? Tell us in the comments down below. Moving on from hot Varchi scenes and jumping to some of the hottest cheerleading moments in the show. In season one, the newly arrived Veronica is trying out for cheerleading together with Betty. To pass, they will have to perform in front of the cheerleading queen, Cheryl Blossom. The two start dancing and cheering for the Bulldogs, which is Riverdale's football team. But when they're finished, Cheryl doesn't look too happy. Cheryl looked over at Veronica and said, Ladies, where's the heat? Where's the sizzle? Veronica, trying to save their performance, responds that Cheryl hasn't seen their big finish yet. She tells Betty not to freak out and then proceeds to go for a kiss. Well, you haven't seen our big finish yet. That is definitely hot, but still, that doesn't impress Cheryl enough. She accepts Veronica, but denied Betty. At least until Veronica said that if Betty weren't accepted, she wouldn't join either. Cheryl is not happy with Veronica, but she agrees to allow the both of them to join the cheerleading group. At their first training session, Veronica is late, and this gave Cheryl an opportunity to put Veronica in place. She tells Veronica that since she missed the beginning of the session, she'll have to stand in the back where she does the least damage. Veronica doesn't seem to be in the mood to get bossed around, and especially not by Cheryl Blossom. They keep on talking down on each other until Cheryl tells Veronica that she's welcome to challenge her to a dance-off. Let us say that this dance-off is without a doubt one of the hottest moments in Riverdale's history. The dance scene contains hair flips, twerking, and a lot of hot dance moves. This dance-off was F-I-R-E fire. We've so far covered hot Varchi scenes, but let's take a look at some of the hottest Bughead scenes throughout the show. The first one being the scene where Jughead climbed up the ladder into Betty's room. He tries to be romantic, saying things like, Hey there, Juliet. 
Betty goes on a rant about how crazy her parents are, but Jughead assures her that all parents are a little bit crazy. Betty is not satisfied with Jughead's answer, and she continues to say that maybe she's also crazy. Betty is obviously stressed out, and Jughead sees an opportunity to comfort her. He stares into her eyes for a few seconds before kissing her. We can almost see sparks flying around them because this scene is hot. Afterwards, they have this very loving atmosphere, but Betty ruins it when she screams out, the car. But Jughead only laughs and said, wow, that's what you're thinking about in the middle of our moment? I feel like this is such a good example to show the cute Bughead couple. They always have something on their mind. While we're talking about Bughead scenes, we have to include Jughead and Betty's hot moments down in Veronica's parents' cabin. They're both prepared to go to sleep, and while Jughead is reading a book, Betty walks into the bathroom to change. On the way, she drops a hot hint at how between the four of them, referring to her, Jughead, Archie, and Veronica, it's only Jughead and Archie that haven't kissed. She is, of course, referring to her and Veronica's kiss during their cheerleading audition. She closes the doors behind her, and after a while, she comes out dressed in black underwear and wearing a black wig. She then proceeds to ask if Jughead enjoyed kissing Veronica, and that if he did, she might have to punish him. It's always hot with a bit of role play, isn't it? Betty pushes Jughead onto the bed. Sure. Me. And we then cut to a scene of Archie and Veronica downstairs. While Veronica is denied a nice time in the bed by Archie, because he's too tired, they can hear how the upstairs bed is starting to squeak, and you can probably guess what Jughead and Betty are doing upstairs. You're kidding, right? On our top three list, we first have yet another Bughead scene. Jughead and Betty are sitting in Jughead's trailer, discussing what Hiram Lodge's next move might be. At first, they both seem to be a bit off, and the overall feeling in the scene is really sad, actually. That is, until Jughead mentioned that, I quote, we got rid of Tallboy. Betty smiles because Jughead said we, and that means that he's starting to think about them as a couple again. Betty tells Jughead that she thinks it's nice to hear him say we again. Jughead apologizes to Betty for being an asshole earlier, and she accepts his apology. She then proceeds to say that she has to head home soon, but Jughead simply responds with stay. Betty doesn't say anything. She just starts to kiss Jughead intensely. Jughead rips off her dress, and Betty tells him that she wants all of him. Good so much more to do. I want to kiss him goodbye. The scene cuts in the right moment, right before we see too much, but once again, you can guess what happened after the scene ended. Most of the Riverdale scenes are just hot, but some are also a bit awkward. In our second place, we have Betty's infamous serpent strip down dance. Seeing how consumed Jughead is by the serpents, and wanting to get closer to Jughead, Betty asks Tony how you become a serpent. Tony responds that you have to strip down to your underwear and do a pole dance in the middle of the serpent's bar. Even though Jughead strongly dislikes the idea of his girlfriend doing a pole dance in front of all his friends, Betty does it anyways. Honestly, it has to have been a bit awkward because not only does she do the dance in front of Jughead, she also does it in front of her own mom. Whoops, that has to be awkward to say the least. I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had I find it hard even though it was a bit awkward, we have to admit that Betty's moves on the dance floor had us all hooked to the TV screen. Betty really knows how to do some hot moves, we have to give her that. At number one, and thus the hottest scene from Riverdale, according to us, we have Cheryl and Tony's blindfolded lap dance scene. Things had been pretty bad between Cheryl and Tony lately, mostly because of the newly formed Pretty Poisons, and Tony was now the official leader, and that upset Cheryl. One night, Cheryl sneaked into Veronica in order to get to her safe. While trying to open the safe, Cheryl's caught by Tony, who tells Cheryl that she saw her casing the place earlier and that she knows that Cheryl wanted her to see it. Cheryl responds with, so what are you going to do now? The tension in the room is higher than we ever thought was possible, 
And when Cheryl asks Tony if she's going to handcuff her, everything turns into sexual tension. Following that scene, we have the hottest scene in Riverdale to this day, and things get intense really fast. Every day's another shine. I put the medicine inside my head. This scene really includes everything, kissing, grinding, and Cheryl's even blindfolded at one point. We don't think that they will be having trouble with their relationship after this hot workout session. With that said, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, don't forget to comment which scene you thought was the hottest.